guys, happy New Year's Eve. Tomorrow's gonna be New Year's Day and this is gonna be the last video that we make for 2024. In this video, I'm gonna touch on carburetors a little bit. I'm gonna explain the difference between the three styles of carburetors that I deal with in the shop on a regular basis and I'm gonna share a little bit of information about each one. The first type of carburetor that I see in the shop most frequently is gonna be the standard adjustment screw carburetor. If you notice on the side here, you're gonna have two caps on the top. Those are gonna be limiter caps. One's gonna be for the high jet. The other one's gonna be for the low jet. And then the screw right below them is gonna be your lean idle adjustment screw, which is gonna control the fuel and the air mixture. So the limiter caps on the side there are put into place to make sure that people are not adjusting these settings. You're gonna have the lean idle adjustment, which does not have a limiter cap. But on your high jet and your low jet, both of those are going to have plastic caps on there. So they're going to have to be removed if you're going to be doing any adjustment. Limiter caps are not put on your carburetor to protect you from destroying it if you adjust the high and low jets wrong. It's actually put on there by the EPA to make sure that the mission standards are met. So yes, if you're doing an adjustment, you have to remove those plastic caps. Otherwise, they're not going to allow you to make the adjustment. The two other styles of carburetors that I deal with... The first one's going to be the steel M-Tronic carburetor, which is going to be a self-adjusting carburetor. And then we have Husqvarna's version, which is the auto-tune carburetor. The difference between a steel M-Tronic and a Husqvarna auto-tune is one is really easy. You drop it in and go. And the Husqvarna one is a complete pain in the butt because you got to reprogram it and update the firmware. I am a dealer for Husqvarna and steel both. And I found that the steel product is much easier to deal with. It does not require any computer diagnostic software to upload any new firmware on there. You just drop these in, plug it into place, and it's good to go. Automatically sets to where it needs to be set. With the Husqvarna version, you have to delete your old carburetor off of the unit before you can install the new one on there. This has to be done. If you just plug this unit into your chainsaw, it is not going to function. If you have a Husqvarna carburetor, you are gonna need one of these diagnostic tools. The diagnostic tool is only gonna work with the Husqvarna software that is used to create the updated firmware. So this little box is what's gonna connect your chainsaw carburetor to the program. You're gonna plug this in the back of your computer. You're gonna take this end and you're gonna plug it into your carburetor. So it just snaps into place just like that. If you do not have access to the diagnostic tool and the diagnostic software in order to update the firmware on these units, you will not be able to get these running in your equipment. You will have to take them to a Husqvarna dealer that has that equipment. And yes, I know that is a complete pain and it is done intentionally to make sure that you have to bring it to a dealer. So if you buy one of these carburetors offline on eBay, Amazon, wherever they're sold, just know going into it, you are not gonna drop this in your machine and it's not gonna work right off the bat. Steel M-Tronic carburetors, on the other hand, all you have to do is disconnect the wire from your old carburetor, plug the new wire into it, drop it into place, and you're good to go. There's nothing that you have to update, no computer software that you have to run on it. They're good to go right out of the box. If you do own a steel saw that has an M-Tronic carburetor on there, if you look at your manual, there is gonna be a carburetor calibration spot in your book. On this one, it's for a steel 201T. It's gonna be on page 37. Let me show you a closer view so you can actually read what it says. If that wasn't enough time, make sure you go back, pause it, and then you can read what it says. But long of the short is, they're automatic, ready to go right out of the box. They're gonna be self-adjusting. If you need to recalibrate them, there is a process for doing that, and it explains it in the manual. Steel's product is a lot more user-friendly than the Husqvarna's. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong as far as the quality goes once they're fully functional, but to get them set up, it's quite the pain to have to go the Husqvarna route. Husqvarna carburetors will come with this little note inside there, and it's gonna tell you that you have to install the carburetor firmware on there in order for the program to function properly. When you're selling the auto-tune carburetor through the program, you're gonna have to delete your old carburetor first before you can sync your new one in there. And you're also gonna have to know which style of ignition coil that you have. It'll have a part number on the ignition coil. It's gonna specifically ask you through one of the drop-down screens which one it has so it can key up everything and make sure that everything is compatible with each other. On some of the auto-tune carburetors, there's gonna be a serial number break for different variations of carburetors. So when you guys are purchasing carburetors, make sure that you guys are checking the serial date numbers against the carburetor so that way you're getting the right one for your unit because if you get the wrong one, it is not gonna fit. 
My favorite carburetor style out of the three is gonna be the steel M-Tronic, just because ease of use. You don't have to worry about doing any adjustment on this carburetor, it self adjusts. So that way, you, if you have different climates you're working in, different temperatures, it's automatically gonna take care of those adjustments for you. My least favorite carburetor to deal with is gonna be the Husqvarna Auto-Tune. Not because it's a bad carburetor, I don't have a problem with how the carburetor functions. It's just because it's a huge pain in the butt to get set up on a new piece of equipment. I usually don't have to replace these, but when I do, it becomes a huge problem because I usually have to update all the software on the program to get the latest version so that way it's compatible with my diagnostic tool, which means there's extra time involved with just setting up the program before I can even update the software and firmware in the new carburetor. So there you go, there's the three types of carburetors that I deal with in my shop. I know that there's Echo equipment out there. I've got some other stuff, Craftsman's, Pull-Ons, which is a Husqvarna product now. But just keep in mind when you guys are buying a chainsaw, which carburetor system you're gonna use and the issues that you may face down the road and how easy it is to resolve those issues. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If it was helpful, make sure you guys like the video below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of other great content on there, repairs that come through the shop. I bet you didn't know videos, new equipment that pops up, and a bunch of other things. So make sure you guys check out the channel. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and have a great new year.